Hello, and thank you for your interest in satellite tracking tools and tips that drive ROI from Blue Sky Network. In this presentation, we'll be sharing some of the lessons we have learned and insights we have gained here at Blue Sky Network over the course of our 10-year history in satellite tracking. Once the presentation is over, we hope that you'll have enough of an understanding to go into your organization and ask the right questions about the state of your tracking solutions. The solutions offered throughout the tracking industry vary widely, with everything from pocket-sized trackers for weekend hikers to fully installed solutions for the largest industries in the world, such as oil and energy. Before we get into the presentation, I would like to tell you a little bit about Blue Sky Network. Blue Sky Network is a satellite tracking pioneer with more than 10 years of experience in the industry. Blue Sky Network is the choice for Cougar, Bristow, Ericsson, and more, with solutions currently installed on every Ericsson air crane, on every helicopter and boat under Cougar's watch as they shepherd people to oil rigs in the North Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico, on half of Bristow's fleet as they do the same kind of work, and on thousands of trucks, helicopters, planes, and boats all over the planet. Basically, organizations both private and public that work in and out of the most remote places on Earth where there is no mobile service have been a great fit for what we do, hence our focus on pole-to-pole -pole coverage through the Iridium Satellite Network. And Blue Sky Network is one of the few companies that is a value-added reseller, a value-added manufacturer, and a Tier 1 service partner of Iridium. The tracking solutions offered by Blue Sky Network currently range from FAA certified, fully installed tracking and communication solutions to handheld devices. Unlike some companies that serve only one small niche with one specific product, Blue Sky Network covers the entire spectrum of an organization's tracking needs. Whether it's tracking tools built into the dashboard of your vehicle, installed in your avionics bay, or held in your hand, Blue Sky Network has the right tool for the job. And the main tool for any tracking job is the right backend to capture and disseminate your tracking data, like Blue Sky Network's SkyRouter, our pioneering web portal. SkyRouter was the first tool of its kind. And, now with multiple maps, geofences, onboard diagnostic synchronization, and a compound rules engine, it remains at the forefront. Keeping with the Blue Sky Network mission of covering the entire spectrum of a company's tracking needs, SkyRouter is a 100% open platform that can capture data from anywhere and send it anywhere too. Legacy devices, third-party hardware, custom data feeds to ERPs, none of it poses a problem. SkyRouter is a tracking platform, a communication system, and reporting engine that can be accessed and used from anywhere with a web connection. Let's get into the reasons businesses may require satellite tracking. And while they do vary, such as more insight, more efficiency, or more communication, they are typically fueled by two pressing needs, ensuring the safety of people and the security of assets. Workers in hazardous areas typically require constant connectivity, which means both the ability to communicate and to be tracked by the home office. A lone worker inspecting a pipeline needs to be able to connect to home base if he has engine trouble. A vehicle loaded with hundreds of thousands of dollars in equipment traveling along a volatile international border needs to be tracked every minute. Compliance is a big driver too. Ensuring compliance with regulations, both external and internal, is a challenge for any business with fleets of vehicles or aircraft where drivers and operators basically work unsupervised. But satellite tracking and communication solutions help address this challenge. Sometimes it's as simple as being able to communicate with a driver or operator, and sometimes it happens on the back end via the reporting engine, where you can spot things such as unexpected downtimes, idling, etc. But having nothing in place is no longer an option. More and more compliance rules and regulations are issued every year, and it's better to already be in compliance than to be playing catch-up after the fact. And there's one business pain most organizations aren't even aware of, like a slow leak in a tire, and that's simply the money they could save if they only had the data to spot their unknown cost centers. The data that comes from a satellite tracking solution, be it a full-on fleet management system or one device installed in a Cessna that tracks taxiing time, it can deliver immediate impact. Suddenly, you can see which vehicles are idling most, which planes may be veering off track too often, and so on. Tracking has moved beyond, where are they now, to, what does this cost? And while it was safety that kick-started this whole industry, are my operators on course, are they okay? Tracking solutions have evolved to be business solutions. After all, every safety issue has a cost associated, and today's more robust tracking solutions take that into consideration. Let's take a look at a report from fleet managers who took complete advantage of their satellite tracking data. 
What we see here is a chart that details the ROI delivered by one of the more popular uses for satellite tracking data, fleet management. Fleet management systems and products are, at heart, satellite tracking solutions. After all, it's the data collected by satellites that fuels most every fleet management solution on the market today. This study, which compiled year-over-year -year data before and after using a fleet management tool, shows that ROI is not just possible, but is nearly assured. A 28% increase in operator safety compliance translates into less risk at an individual level, and reducing risk reduces costs. A 26% improvement in regulatory compliance translates into more uniform processes at an operational level, creating a more cohesive, smoothly running operation which again equals less risk and reduced costs. Of course, it's not just costs associated with risk that drive ROI. The data delivered from a robust satellite tracking solution can also help you improve overall operating efficiencies as well. Everything from reducing vehicle downtime, to improving fuel consumption, to reducing outlays for repairs, maintenance, and overtime. Perhaps most importantly, the data delivered and disseminated from your satellite tracking solution will help you align your fleet management practices around your overall business goals. For example, if going green is a business goal, using your satellite tracking data to curb excessive fuel consumption would be in 100% alignment. An increased data-driven alignment absolutely always drives better business decisions and reduces operating costs. So the pain addressed by high-performing, data-rich satellite tracking solutions is clear, as are the business benefits. The beauty of it is the overlap. For example, addressing safety needs invariably leads to lower operating expenditures. Ben Franklin once said, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. The data you collect from your aircraft, vehicles, and vessels enables you to see where that ounce of prevention should be applied. Let's now address the specifics of the satellite tracking solutions at your disposal. There are essentially only two. Those that deliver tracking data via GSM or cellular networks, and those that deliver data via two directional satellites. The reason they can both be called satellite tracking solutions is that they both transmit data gleaned from GPS satellites, which provide location and time information anywhere on or near the Earth. These satellites are maintained by the U.S. government and are freely accessible by anyone with a GPS receiver. These are the cornerstone to all tracking solutions. The difference, then, is how that GPS data is delivered into your hands. GSM solutions really only apply to land mobile, so if you're flying or traveling by boat, a pure GSM solution won't help much. And even if you're traveling by land, with a GSM-only tracking solution, you'll only have connectivity in places where cellular coverage is available, which is not nearly as extensive as you might think. As you can see, only about 10% of the Earth's surface has reliable GSM coverage. Get even more granular on a map like this, and you'll see even more spots where coverage is not available. We all know those Can You Hear Me Now commercials. The reason they were so effective is that they addressed the pain we've all experienced at some point in time, which is no reliable GSM coverage. And reliable is in itself a flexible word. Is reliable every minute in a 24-hour day? Or is it, say, 95% of those minutes? After all, drop calls happen every day to most everyone in most every spot on the planet. The question an organization needs to ask itself is whether or not it can live with being dropped from time to time. If you're in an industry as sensitive as, for example, the military or oil and energy, the answer is typically no. Downtime or being dropped is not acceptable. The only thing that will do is 100% connectivity from anywhere in the world. For such businesses, a satellite tracking and communications platform is simply a necessity. The good news is that, just like with your GSM service networks, your Verizons, T-Mobiles, etc., there are many satellite networks to choose from. The main satellites in use by tracking solutions providers right now are either geostationary or geo, or low earth orbiting or LEO satellites. The geo satellites are approximately 22,000 miles off the Earth's surface, but the LEO satellites hover much closer, a mere 100 to 1,200 miles above the Earth's surface. The geostationary satellites, in use by Inmarsat, for example, are powerful pieces of equipment. However, they're in a fixed orbit over the Earth's equator, which means they can't quite capture all data from the poles. They have what could be called blind spots. LEO satellites, in use by Global Star and Iridium, are not fixed on the equator, and as such require what's called a constellation to ensure constant coverage. 
While Global Star was an early leader, lately its focus primarily appears to be on phones and more consumer-facing products such as the Spot Personal Locator. It's the Iridium network that has been moving to the forefront of the satellite tracking solution space. Iridium is the fastest growing service provider in the mobile satellite services sector, operating the largest commercial and only global satellite constellation in the world with 66 LEO satellites. And that's just the beginning. In 2015, Iridium will be launching Next, and this isn't just more satellites. The objective of Next is to better meet your objectives, so Next will add bandwidth, speed, backward compatibility, new services, and more. The data Iridium currently delivers ranges from position reports, to text messages, to images, to voice communications. And I'm sure that within our lifetimes we'll see video transmitted as well. Bandwidth limitations, after all, are only time limitations. They are overcome eventually. Most satellite tracking solutions keep things short and sweet, however, using Iridium to send short burst data packets with positioning reports or text and voice communications. However, using a pure satellite tracking solution has costs. Tapping any satellite network for something even as small as a 30-byte position report can range anywhere from a dime to 25 cents per report. And if you're required to send position reports every two minutes, which some operators are required to do, some even more often, costs can add up quickly. But there is an alternative. One of the major changes in satellite tracking has been the introduction of dual-mode solutions that enable the use of both Iridium satellites and GSM networks.